हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन टुडेस वीडियो आई विल डेमोस्ट्रेट हाउ टू जनरेट अ पैचिंग कंप्लायंस रिपोर्ट फॉर द प्रीवियस मंथ्स आई हैव रिसीव्ड न्यूमरस इंक्वायरीज ऑन जनरेटिंग विंडोज पैचिंग कंप्लायंस रिपोर्ट फॉर इंट्यून मैनेज डिवाइस स्पेशली फॉर प्रीवियस मंथ्स ऑन माय वेरियस सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म many of you have asked about gathering compliance report for n minus 1 or n minus 2 months where n represents the latest patch tuesday of the month and i completely understand this as some organization need the last 3 months patching compliance report to track the improvement in patch compliance in this video i will guide you through the process of accomplishing this but before we dive in if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing for more content let's get started to achieve this we will be using a powershell script that i have uploaded to my github repository and you can find the link in the description section so let me open the powershell script which i already downloaded in the download folder and then we have to open this powershell script as an administrator so in this script you have to update the user input section so we have to go to the user input section we have to update the device list working folder and the reporting month input variable so in the device list we have to provide the csv file which we will be downloading soon from the intune and in the working folder we have to enter the location where you want to create a reporting folder and in reporting month input variable we have to provide the month against which we want to generate a report let's say if you want to generate a report for the latest month then you have to provide the n in the variable if you want to generate a report for the previous month then you have to provide n minus 1 in the same way if you want to generate a report for n minus 2 or n minus 5 or n minus 10 then you have to provide the reporting month input variable accordingly so let me quickly update the user input section so in the device list variable we have to download the intune report and provide the csv file location so let me open the intune portal and within the windows device section we have to go to the export and then we have to select include all inventory data in the exported file and click on yes so i have already downloaded the report but in my intune tenant i have only three device because of this reason i am going to use uh, another csv file where i have 5000 devices and i have already saved that csv file in my c drive within the temp folder i have already created a intune patching report folder and in this folder i have already saved our device inventory report if i am opening this report we can see that we have the intune exported dump now we have to provide this file location path in the device list so i have already provided the path and i am also want to save my output file in the intune patching report folder so i'm okay with that and in the reporting month input i am providing n meaning that i want to generate a report against the latest past tuesday and then we have to select all and click on run and now it started downloading the patch list from microsoft and now we can see that it's gathering the windows patching compliance report and it is also showing you the progress we can see that the script executed successfully against n month and where n is equal to january 9 2024 which is the latest past tuesday and the total device in the csv file is 5000 out of which 180 devices are showing as compliant against the n month patch cycle and 83 devices are showing as manually check required and 4737 devices are showing as non compliant 
and the patching compliance percentage is 3.60 and we can see that the report is saved in this location let me copy this location and we can also see that the to calculate the patch compliance for 5000 devices script is taking 9 minutes let me open the csv file and within the report we can see that the stole kb article which is installed on the device and this kb article is a patch tuesday update or it's a non patch tuesday update or a preview update we can also see that the this patch release date is 10 december 2023 and the machine is non compliant against the n month patch cycle and the device is not compliant from last 40 days and this is the latest patch required and this patch is released on which date let me run this script against n minus 5 version so that we can see the difference so let me quickly update the script to populate n minus 5 months patch compliance so let me update this again under this n minus 5 and now i am selecting all and click run and now we can see that against n minus 5 months the patching compliance is 91.38 percent so this way we can generate the patching compliance against n to n minus 10 months so that's all for this video let me know in the comment section if you have any question on this i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video